Hey, Docker Mastery fans. This is your November update for what's going on in the course and community. So first up, thanks to all the great feedback we've been getting about the Kubernetes addition to Docker Mastery. I'm so excited it's finally landed after lots and lots of work this year. And in fact, we've dropped major updates almost every month and then we're not done. We've got a lot more coming. So let me just recap real quick. We earlier this year launched a whole bunch of clips which were specifically questions and answers from you. You sent in your questions through the live that we do every week on YouTube and I took all the little answers, clipped them up, and we made a whole section about it. So that's really gonna fill in the gaps for those of you that had the common questions throughout the course. We had major updates around Docker production, then Kubernetes was added to the course. So a whole lot of new sections, 40 plus videos of Kubernetes, and we're not done yet. In fact, just this week, we launched Docker security, a whole section on my top 10 must do things for any Docker container project. It's what I do in the real world, and I wanted you to start adopting those practices in your projects. If you don't realize it, there's 8,000 active people in the course every month, which means Q&A every day is 50 plus questions, and that's not even including Slack. So I'm proud of that, and Ray always does a great job. So thank him when you see him, say hi in the Slack when he's there. Now, of course, we still got the newsletter and the YouTube Live, but we've got even more plans for the end of 2019 and into 2020. Our sections that we're planning include more information on 1903. That's the latest release of the Docker engine and Docker desktop. 19.03 came out this summer, and we have a lot of information to talk about that's new features and updates to old features, which we'll be adding to at least one new section but I don't wanna spoil all the surprises, so I'm not gonna tell you about everything we have planned for the next year. But suffice to say, this is still an absolute living course. New people are starting this course every single day of the year, and we wanna keep it fresh, continuing to add information that helps you in your Docker journey. And thank you so much for being a student in my courses. Nothing gives us more happiness than seeing how it's changing your careers, how people are getting better jobs, entering into DevOps for the first time, and even multiple people out there have gotten jobs at Docker Incorporated by just taking this course and then applying what they've learned in their practice and in their job. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the course.